another audience participation game, and I need a, a nice woman will volunteer for me. You don't have to come on stage, I'm just going to ask you a few questions. So whatever woman would like to volunteer for me, just answer a few questions. Not for him personally. Not for me personally, just for the, show. for the sake of the show. For the sake of the show. Can I get a volunteer? Oh, oh I, I see someone point. Did you have a preference? Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll use you. What's, what's your name? You're, 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 what's your name? Denise. Let's have a big hand for Denise! So, so Denise, what do you do for a living? <laughs> you drink? I train. 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 You train. Well, what, what, what do you train? What do you train? Uh, all kinds of things. From uh, self-defense training, CPR, first aid. Oh, self-defense, first aid, CPR training. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to hurt you. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love this. This is fantastic. Okay, so um, what, what's, what, what are some things you do for fun? What are your hobbies outside of work? Shopping. <laughs> Shopping. Shopping? What else? Shopping. Watching him in a restaurant. I think we're going to get a date. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> security, security. <laughs> what were your hobbies? Shopping? Yeah, shopping. I don't have a lot of hobbies. You don't have a lot of hobbies? No, no other hobbies? No. You don't watch the other? You have him. You have him. Okay. Is that, is that, uh, you, you with him? Or you? No, I just grabbed him and said I have him. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's pretend you're looking for a date. What are some things you'd look for in a person you were dating? Tell them what they missed. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wants to keep my things private. Okay. Yeah. What else? Somebody keep their mouth shut. Well, what's some other qualities you like in a person you're dating? Well, they hopefully they won't mind him being around. <laughs> okay. Let's put you in a different universe where you, you don't know him. A different universe where you might be looking for a date. What, what might you look for? Oh, tall. Tall. Dark. Dark. <laughs> Muscular. Muscular. Okay. And what are some of your turnoffs? Things that would just be if that person had that quality, you'd be, you're out of here. Body odor. Body odor. That's a common one. Body odor. Anything else? Uh, talking a lot, drinking. Talking a lot, drinking. Spending all my money yeah. back here. Spending all my money back here, back here. <laughs> Sounds like we're getting a lot of information about this relationship here. <laughs> did, did you uh, go to your high school prom? Yes. But what was your date's name? Do you remember? Donnie. Donnie. <laughs> Donnie. He's He's like, like, we're we're going to put you in an alternate universe where you're looking for a date and take you to the not burnt out, just unscrewed dating game. Yeah. Access TV. Um, my name is Dr. Bill. You may know my more favorite cousin, Dr. Phil. Well, I don't get to be on regular TV. I can only manage cable access. But we have a good show for you tonight, folks. Tonight, we are going to find Denise here, the love of her life, because we're optimistic, <laughs> right here on the cable access dating game. All right, so let me tell you the rules. You're going to get to ask a series of questions to, to ferret out, so to speak, the chaff from the wheat, or some kind of biblical reference like that. And then after that, you're going to get to tell us which one of these eligible and out on parole perhaps facts you want to go out with. But first, before we get to that, tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> I train. I train people to do <laughs> all kinds of things, like self-defense and CPR. <laughs> Ooh. And I like to shop. Very big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Training and shopping. That's it. Oh, well, this yeah. is going to be a good show. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes I have so much fun on the show, I can't even remember what I'm supposed to do. All right. So, bachelor number one, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, my name is Joey, and... Uh, I'm pretty confident, um, except for I'm afraid of water. Um, but I'm a local lifeguard down at the YMCA. And, uh, but don't worry, though, um, I use an extreme amount of sunscreen to keep my pasty complexion. All right, Joey. And I'm very short. 
Serves the public. I like it. American hero. Okay, back to number two. Yo, 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 hey, Cynthia, how you doing? My name's Denise. Oh, that was the girl from last night, my bad. Yo, yo, Denise, how you doing? Good. Yo, my name's Tony Antonucci, all right? And um, I'm here because I'm really excited, you know, because, you know, being on TV, cable TV, hey, how you doing? All right, Southside Bronx, up too. All right, so um, I'm just, I, I, I have lots of jobs, and um, you like to shop? I got things you can buy, so we're all good, right? All right, well, we're going to keep the economy going, or she's going to find a date. Okay, bachelor number three. Tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Jojo. I am a gorilla. I think that says it all too, folks. <laughs> you look like my cousin Vinny. You really do. Okay, now you're probably thinking to yourself right now, I can't believe my own luck. <laughs> or, why Lord hath thou since forsaken me? <laughs> Either way, it's okay. We're going to have fun at your expense. <coughs> All right, so, you have, three, you have three questions to ask these, um, I would say lovely bachelors. I'm ready. Okay, you just want to get to it. Yeah. All right, then. Okay. Go ahead. What's your first All right. question? I like a man who can keep his mouth shut. Okay. What's a secret you're keeping? <laughs> wow, that's deep. Okay. Get this, Bachelor Number One. She likes a guy that knows how to keep his mouth shut. However, she wants you to talk about a painful secret. I added that part. And you're keeping. That's what I said. <laughs> Do I say it or not? Women, right? Who knows? <laughs> well, I guess my biggest secret is that I've just... Even though I tell all the guys at school that I have, I've never saved anyone at the pool. Oh, stolen valor! That's awesome! Okay. <laughs> My question now? Well, I don't want to interrupt right in the middle no, of the right. right. <laughs> Okay, all right, okay. It's just like my cousin Vinny, I really swear. I mean, dating game and National Geographic. Okay, bachelor number two, Anthony, what do you have? Well, you know what? I, I told you I do a little side jobs every once in a while. And so, the, the real secret is that those, uh, those, uh, DVDs, they didn't really fall off the truck. <laughs> oh, I'll crack myself up. <laughs> I'm funny. Don't worry about those NYPD guys in the back of the room, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'm sure they're here for something else. Okay, Jojo. I know it's hard to think on stuff like this on such a full stomach. A secret that you're keeping that you're not supposed to talk about, but she's going to be mad at you if you don't. Jojo feels very conflicted. Last time Jojo fully disclosed feelings to partner, she left him for a man on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't been there, right, folks? <laughs> okay. Jojo. That's probably enough already, but if you want to... Jojo. Is sentient. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. One of these guys is left handed. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Second question. Far away. Mm. Although I am perfectly capable of protecting myself because I teach self defense training. <laughs> what would you do to protect me in a dangerous situation? Oh, I like that question. Okay. Mm. Anthony, the guys. Who own that truck have found you on your date. What happened? <laughs> well, Denise, I have to say, I will run very quickly and get someone to protect us. <laughs> Red badge of courage. I like it. Okay. Jojo know this. Okay, Jojo. Jojo, walk up to man. <laughs> if that doesn't work, Jojo go eat bar. <laughs> That's all Jojo know. Mm, intimidation and vegetarianism. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Now's your chance. I can't. I can't. 
can't save anybody. Why would you say that? Ball up in the fetal position and cry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Good thing you got all that training, you know? <laughs> all right. So, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh my God, deer are so great, I can't possibly choose. But you get one more question to try to sort it out. Jojo, he sounds tall, dark, and muscular. <laughs> that, that's a fair description, actually. Uh, okay. okay. Question number three. Question number three. If you were going to take me out on a date, where would we go? That's pretty straightforward. Okay. It's kind of like watching one of those pirated movies before you go to the theater, but all right. Okay. Jojo? Jojo a bit of a romantic, so Jojo take you to nice tree he knows. Make tool out of stick and feed you termites. Very classy. <laughs> Get in touch with nature. Yeah, so, okay. This one's easy. No bravery involved whatsoever. Where are you going on the date? I would take you to a skate park. Because I do a lot better with empty pools. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I mean, the dive, never mind. Okay. Anthony, first yeah. date, where are you guys going? Yo, yo, this is easy, yo, this is easy. You know, there's a place I know down on South Broadway. It's called Creative Choices, all right? And like, so we're going to go there and we're going to do a paint night. All right? So what's going to happen is I know next Thursday night they're doing a Picasso paint night. And so you and I, we'll have a glass of wine, and we'll sit there and we'll paint our own Picassos. Are you serious right now? Nah. Well, <laughs> all right. You're not going to believe this, but somewhere along the way, one of these guys learned about art. Hot diggity. All right, you ready to make your decision? Okay. I can't choose. You don't have to. Because the studio audience is going to choose for you. <laughs> oh, come on, folks! Everybody wants to play matchmaker. And now, don't worry, because you'll be contractually obligated to go out. Yeah. All right, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to hold my hand over the bachelor in question. If you want that individual to go out, you just start clapping, cheering, yelling. Don't throw anything, please. We, someone lost an eye last week. Um... And I'll go down the line, and you guys get to pick. How's that sound? Okay. If you want bachelor number one, hey, don't worry, your mom cheered pretty loud. Bachelor number two, rhyme doesn't pay, Anthony. All right, bachelor number three. 